Right then guys, today I'm doing a video on helium neon lasers. Um, bought some tubes and some power supplies off of it. This one's actually broken. Um, a bit. I asked him if he had any broken ones, if he'd just add them in there. Um, because uh, Steve Lane was saying that he would uh, quite like one but unfortunately the end snapped off as you can see there on the actual lasers down here they've got an end very similar to each other one's a lens and one's a mirror um, now I've run them from the Variac uh, I was set up the PSU board um, this transformer here uh, you'll probably be able to see it actually if I zoom in 1200 volts that runs through the voltage multiplier and um, through the joys of old technology over there um, it is 5 kV DC that these tubes run on so this board actually runs 5 kV each side um, I put it on the Variac so I could turn it up gradually because I wasn't sure it could have been 10 kV for all I knew and yeah the meter only goes up to 5 kV and no it wasn't because I maxed the meter out I gradually turned it up and as I was gradually turning it it stopped bang on the bang on the mark just as I hit the the 240 volts um, the Variac set up for 240 not 270 no particular reason that's just how it, how it was wired uh, it's not going to be staying like that anyway, but for simple reasons I just left it. Um, of course with any lasers, no matter the power, you always need the correct glasses. Um, I actually have quite a few pairs, I actually have three of each, I didn't get them all out, but um, I've got three of each colours just so that other people can see what I'm doing and come in and watch and be safe in the room, because it only takes it to reflect off of something and you know, it could be anyone's eyes. Now before I switch it on, I'm just going to show you quickly. Um, the chap actually sent me some other lasers as well. Well, um, and a couple of drivers. He actually sent me a couple of these modules, and they've got one is a 200 watt. I think. Can't think where it says it. One's a 200 watt, and one is a, I think one is a, a 1 watt um, Blu-ray. I'm not, not too sure, but I'm going to contact him and ask him, because it says it on the side, but I can't quite read them. Um, but they're definitely Blu-rays, but as I say, make sure if you are going to play with lasers, be careful, because those ones actually I have powered up off of the um, drivers that they were attached to. They just went off a 9 volt battery and both of them burn um, quite sufficiently quick as well um, obviously that makes no difference if you've got glasses on or not whether it's going to burn your hands but you know playing with lasers isn't particularly safe um, so what I should do is I should turn my light off I should be using blue goggles today um, now although I've said yes you need goggles I don't need any goggles for what I'm doing to show you um, but I'll be using my goggles to show you guys how these work basically well maybe not how they work but what they look like when they're running so I should go ahead and turn them on now I've made sure that before I turn them on I had my goggles on um, that they're not reflecting off anything and I've actually got them set up so they are on the curtains over there. Um, might like to see I've got another set of these here which I planned on buying two sets and selling a set but after I've got them I've decided there's no way I'm selling a set and also you might be able to just see there I've finally got my MOVs mounted on a piece of Perspex um, and there's just a few more bits of wires going and the uh, terry foot is finished so that's pretty good news too so I'll spin you back round to the lasers um, and I'll show you with the goggles 
So you can actually see how the beam runs down the tubes. Obviously it's, e it's easier to see with the, uh, you can just about see it without the goggles, but as soon as you put it on there you can see how it works. Um, there's a mirror at that end of the tube, and a lens at that end of the tube, and that's what creates the, the dot. So yeah, these are pretty cool things. Helium neons, I think I did say that. And uh, just to show you what I mean about why we use these goggles, they filter out an awful lot. Now if you don't pick the right colour, say you use a green, for instance, so they fill it out a lot less, and reds fill it out even less. So I don't actually fill out anything at all. Um, but I wasn't sure how powerful these lasers were. They're not burning. Um, they're not, you know, they're not that powerful. I don't know how far they will go or anything. I don't really know much about them at all. Um, but I know I like them enough to want to keep both sets, so... <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with those. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool things to have. Um, I think that's about all. I mean, I can turn them down a bit. They start... Start dripping out on you. It's only a few volts less on the variac. That's just the multiplier, the voltage multiplier not quite not quite getting there. And got a little disco going on. So but yeah, anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you've got any questions I'll try and answer them for you. So uh, please like, comment, subscribe and all the other stuff. And if you are going to play with lasers, whether they be burning blue rays, one watt ones like my laser show, or I'm not really too sure how powerful these ones are, but they don't burn a thing. Um, make sure you play safe and use, use the correct goggles. Always, always use the goggles. So thanks for watching and uh, I shall uh, speak to you again soon.